Here we are, on a mission to debunk a well-known myth. No, but I do think you have to be able to fix it wherever you are. But you should do the maintenance ahead of time so that doesn't happen. It's like having a car. If you have a car and you maintain it, then it will take you safely anywhere you need to go. And if you don't maintain it, then it will break down at the least convenient time. And the problem is that with a boat, you're much more vulnerable if your boat breaks. That being said, things do break. Everything does break. And you need someone on board who's really, really capable with everything. Electrical, mechanical, all the practical aspects of the boat. You need an engineering, hands-on kind of person on the boat. It's not me. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> and that person has to love that aspect of it. No, really, no, don't, not only fixing it. It, it, it can be, for me it is at the moment, because I'm refitting the boat. Um, and, and my boat, because it's a steel boat, requires a lot more maintenance than somebody with a fiberglass boat. For me that's kind of been the case, but it, it shouldn't be, really. I mean, we really should be out having fun, enjoying things and uh, adventuring and, and going to nice places and seeing them. But I seem to spend an awful lot of time working on my boat. No, no, it's not that you can't say that it takes all your time. It's just a short time it takes and it's just for fun. It's good to make things work again. And then the rest of the time is for, for the place, for the local people, for your crew and enjoying. No, in our case, no. Because we're maintaining the boat, we're keeping on top of all the jobs that we, we need to do. And uh, we've been able and lucky enough uh, to move around the world, well, halfway around the world without stopping anywhere, uh, waiting for parts or uh, fixing for a long time. There is a difference between maintaining the boat and repairing the boat. A lot of people don't maintain their boats and they end up repairing them. But I have done repair in uh, faraway places, unforeseen repairs. Yeah. Uh, not really, no. Uh, no, not up, not up until this point. No. Yes, uh, during this four years sailing, already in the Baltic, uh, we were in bad weather, nearly storm, and our inner roller was broken, so we had to repair it in in Germany and that postponed our trip one month. Later in Carib, uh, our proper shaft was uh, leaking after a certain uh, accident in, in Dominica and uh, we tried to repair it three times. All this postponed our crossing to uh, Panama, uh, perhaps one and a half month. No, uh, we, we were lucky, we had some spares with us, and we've been uh, keeping on top of all the jobs, so no. Five percent, maybe ten percent some years, but not much. It's just something you do a little bit at a time, you know. As, as you go along. Yeah, as you go along, you do a little bit at a time, and then it never really affects you. 10%, not more, 20% maybe. It's more or less 10, or even more. I would say between 5 uh, and 10% of the time, um, maintaining the boat and uh, sometimes doing repairs. This was our attempt to debunk a myth. If you enjoy our cruising conversations, give us the thumbs up subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you. I don't like very much the complicity of the modern boats. Traditional boats were without many instruments uh, and they were still, still crossing the same oceans safely. 
there is two ways of saying uh, how it should be according to my mind. One is kiss with two as keep it simple, stupid. And the other one is which you don't have, can't go wrong. Join us in the next episode to find out why sailing is the best way to see the world.